there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Passage Again, where we are playing World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. The World of Final Fantasy. The World of Final Fantasy. Yes, we are continuing on in our playthrough of World of Final Fantasy as we approach the release date of Final Fantasy XV. We have not that long to go. We have only a few days left. The countdown has begun. Even the advertising is reminding us and telling us with every single day as it passes that it's just getting closer. And it's kind of exciting. Um, we, of course, have gotten to the point now where we're a week from release. And some douchebags have decided to actually start playing the game. Well, some douchebags have released the game early, which is okay for them because they're making profit for whatever else. But there's also a whole bunch of douchebags that have decided to actually like, stream the whole thing here on Twitch and uh, post some videos on YouTube spoiling the crap out of the story, which I am completely and utterly avoiding. Wait for it. Hang on. Who's we got? World of Final Fantasy. Don't know who that might have been. World of... Mm. I'm trying to figure out what character that might have been. We haven't run into them yet, if it is the case. Oh, actually, no. That was Snow. Almost sure that was Snow. Okay, let's see um, where we're continuing off from. So, in our previous adventure, we had to cross a large, large space of water that had mega sharks on it. And that pissed me the fuck off. I did not want to be doing that forever. I just wanted to get chapter out of that 12. chapter. So, now we're on to chapter 12. Ribbit Jiggle Ribbit Panic. Jiggle panic. Kind of like full metal panic, but not quite. We survived, but now we continue on after our quest through the caves. We've been pulled to another location. <laughs> after our defeat of that boss, and I don't know where we are now. We need therapy after this. Uh, please, no more cosmic flushing. I'll flush you uh, down the toilet if I feel like uh, it. Uh, Where are we now? We're at the end of the Rainbow I Road. I don't think we're of in course. Nibelheim anymore. Not by a long shot. Well, at least it's not Kansas either, so... Either way, you're fine. The windswept mire. We ain't got no doggos, but we got froggos. Take a look around. Mom bombs. That is one deep swamp. Maybe we shouldn't go this way after all. Well, it's the only piece of land you got, so if you want to go swimming, work away. Ribbit. Rib -a -rib. Rib -a -rib. What's with this toad? Is it a mirage? Because it doesn't act like one. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbity, ribbity, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbity, ribbit, 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 they have accents? Obviously. Ribbit? Ribbity the ribbity tip? Ribbit a rib dip 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 the rib dip tip bib. What'd he say? From what I gather, it sounds like I just like insulted all of your mothers. Hope you didn't notice or mind. Oh, so all we have to do is defeat it. That's the correct. Beat the shit out of the golden toad. Imprisonment the same as always. Okay, we got this. Okay. Careful, you don't get toad cursed. Huh? You mean you're not coming? Well, it's game over if we both go full toad, right? That would oh. be dangerous. I was actually literally just thinking right. that, going like, you don't want both of them to turn them into toads because then nobody can untoad you. Well, I suppose. I mean, they could use what do you call it? Could use an item, I suppose. Okay, we're in our stacks. So, what's the, so what I got? Well, I got the little choco chick. Um, bring it on, Toady! Bring it on, Toadstrom! Gotcha. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. Whoa, rabbit. is it just me or does he look miffed? No, That's one no. pissed toad. Where did you learn to talk like that? You need to go to wash your mouth out with a bar of soap. What? Dude, what did I say? Ribbit, rip, rip, rib, ribbit. Oh, God damn it! I didn't give him any um, Libra before I left. Son of a bitch. Um, okay. Well, in that case, we don't know what we're going to do uh, powers-wise, so I'm not going to waste my Sephiroth on him. Um, I imagine with him being water-type, Thunder may be the right way to go. Zap, motherfucker! Okay, resist. Not a good sign. Don't! Oh, you prick. Okay, so at least I'm sitting still now, waiting for him to hit me. Alright, that was me hit. Grand, great. 
Well, hopefully it's not a toad head. Um, Cura through Cat Claw. Ooh! Maybe put the son of a bitch to sleep? Yep, that's what we wanted. So, I'm going to defend. 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 And I have enough points to do whatever the hell I want to. Um, Blizzard, let's see if he can actually take the... He's water type, so maybe it'll be... He can resi he's resistant magic. Oh, damn! Did I just... It's your in prison? You're mine now. Ha! <laughs> Problem solved. No trouble at all. That works for me. Happy days. Ha! Got you beat. Okay. Think it. Did I get any EXP for that at all? Right, and we're lucky enough to chance upon this toad will be blessed with a good future, unless of course you hate amphibians, in which case there's nothing unfortunate about it at all. Oh, Right, let's see, what else information we got there? Um, yeah, so I needed to use uh, reduce the HP, so I was going to get that pretty much no matter what. Um, is extremely weak against holy. That's okay, but it's defensive against everything else. Easily put to sleep too. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of useful to have. Don't know anything about it, though. Oh, oh dear, Oblivion, Mind Madrig Madrigal, Stroll, Water, Endless Blessings. So, as soon as it's got healing and uh, status affecting built into it, also have Subdue, which might be useful. Um, oh, that's for the actual other version, for Lucky Toad. It's uh, Auspicious Theme. Must be status effect. Doesn't seem like they have that many. Oh, Treasure Hunter? That looks interesting. More rare shit. Okay, we might keep you around. Okay, his name is Lucky Toad. So, um... Froggy! We'll go with Froggy. I'll come get you, Froggy! Don't run away! If anybody's not noticing why I'm doing that voice, it's actually the character from Sonic Adventure. Yeah, remember Big the Cat? Froggy! Why you run away? Alright, are we taking him with us? Yeah, let's see who we can get rid of. Okay. Who's worth dropping? Who's worth dropping? Um, I don't know. Chesty LaRue? STD Bob? Snowjerk? Pidgey? Smokey Jim? Maybe Smokey Jim? Yeah, we're dropping Smokey Jim. I think I'll, we'll drop Smokey Jim. See what? We might have to come back to him at some other point, but we're dropping Smokey Jim for now. Oh, since I captured him as well, that means I can actually tell him what to do. Oh, that works for me. Oh we'll God, back, Snow! Baby. Why did it have to be you? Why do we have to start introducing the, the Final Fantasy XIII are. characters? Really, you honestly, that's just saved my life. I don't care about. Oh, the name's Snow. And I'm I thick as four short planks. Big jiggle lurking in this swamp, and then along the way, I saw this awesome golden toad and thought, man, you don't see too many of those. But who knew the things are contagious? So then, Toad Me was all like, what am I even gonna do? Could I really eat flies or live on lily pads? Deep questions. But then you No, not really deep questions. Kind once. of things you just like accept as you're being a frog. Ooh, you guys are the God, this is like the worst the version of the frog, frog prince I've ever Dude, seen in my entire I life. I have no idea what's wrong with you, but as long as you're happy. Did Mom just find someone he can talk the dome to? Never the thought I'd see the day. So, what's yes. your deal? Where are you Finally, from? a character actually stupider than Lan. That's exactly what we needed in this plot. You swept here all the way from Nibelheim? Wow. And here I thought I had it pretty rough. I mean, Nibelheim, isn't that one continent up? How are you guys even alive? I don't know. I know. It's so crazy. I guess we're getting kind of pro at it? Being swept away and lost? Probably. Anyway, it seems we're the stuck here. All the goop around here makes it the hard to look for a way out. Oh, yeah. Well, you got that right. One false step and your history. Okay, then how did you get out here, Snow? 
<laughs> well, I came out here to hunt Just something. Like this. Oh. What is that? Oh, God. It's the scissoring motorcycle. All right, well, it isn't his si cool idea. bit odd, because the scissoring motorcycle, remember, was two summoner? chicks that's decided to change it to being one person? But no. Sadly, summoner is way too fancy a word for what I am. Huh? But You're a lessee. Just so, say the word. Play? I don't mind showing you the way out if that's what you want. How about you? Are you still gonna butt kick the big jiggle or whatever it was? You know it. I'm assuming he's talking about it some kind of booty. Far from where we are now. So it's like a mirage? Yep. Me and Jiggles have got some history. I gotcha. Then maybe we can help you out. Uh, really? We're I have a good feeling Big Jiggles is actually kind of like on a slightly offensive term for a female character with very so large breasts. I just, you, I got this premonition feeling about Snow. Oh, I got you now. Well, let's team up then. That stupid Big Jiggle will never know what hit it. Either that or it's a giant slime. Okay, we continue our explorations of the Swampland. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering when we're going to get into a fight there. I want to see what kind of creature types are in here for me to catch. Ribbit. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to keep on running into these. So I might as well catch one of them. Um, so what... Uh, I can actually use the abilities here now. And Libra! I know what these uh, toads have got to show. Full show. I feel like berserk because I'm a. All right, I don't have anything that will cause a berserk, so it looks like I am going to pummel all of you guys to death. Works for me. Okay, okay. Attack. <sighs> no, no. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ow. Yes. Attack. There we go. So it's like the auto battling is kind of convenient whenever you actually are powerful enough to actually just pummel the life out of everything. Yeah, I just was wondering how far that frog was going to jump up. It went all the way up to level 7 in that single battle. Which is uh, a nice boost to... I mean, that's one thing I'm actually finding that if I'm going to catch ones in different areas, I'm going to be able to level them up pretty damn fast. I don't even need... That's the thing. For the skills like chill and stuff, I thought I was might going to need my own kind of a guy to do it, but no, no, not at all. Just going to be able to use the one that's following along with me. Okay, here we go. the point of learning the HMs. Uh, frog punch. Frog puncher, the video game. Watch as you punch frogs in high definition, over and over again, punching those frogs right in the face. And if you get bored, punching them right well, in the tip. That ought to do it. Huh. Let's get some magic going up on here. Um, do I have actually new mirror jewels to give out? No, I haven't. It's just that I've been locked in our slot. Which is nice. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'll get more over time. But, um... I'm gonna just grab a... I don't want a bad item. I want to actually... I, see, the thing is, I'm actually down to the point where I'm only... I've got like seven high potions left, and that's it. I don't actually have any... Oh, I just realized I actually have like stats effect items I could have got that frog with. Um, I'm running out of uh, healing items, so I need to probably use spells more often than anything else. Uh, I'm trying to think of who to actually use for it. Who's got a decent heal on them? 
Haste, Cure. Yes, Bank Hand has got a Cure. Cure. Alright, well, we'll use your one. And it needs to be on you. There we go. I don't really like the magic usage outside of battle. What the hell? Alright, so essentially just teach me to stay the hell out of water. Popping out at us. be warned. Good lord, there's four of them. Alright. Well, looks like I'm going to be burning you all to death then today. Um, that didn't work. So we need to do something else. Uh, Alright, let's see if water does anything to them. Now they're all resistant to water. Well, that one dude looks like he's really about to fall apart because his nose is falling off. Or not nose, his mouth is hanging open. Wow, that I need to get rid of the fire characters now because that is doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Um. Is that one actually. Is that one still alive? Son of a bitch. So how do, what do I can I do to steal a flan? Physical attacks to create a prism unity? Well, why didn't you tell me before? Um, abilities? Let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 I need to do something that's actually going to hit multiples, so hopefully I'll take out one of these guys at least. Well, that's two down. That makes it a little bit easier. Attack. Ow. I should have just been punching those guys in the beginning. I'm just realizing that just punching things is probably the best move. I'm gonna change her uh, from her miniature version to her taller version because uh, that dragon, as powerful as it is, is just not. Um... Yeah, there we go. The dragon was just causing me to actually have problems. Like I was going to, I was going to probably just get overly beat down there if I actually didn't change it. So let's see what I got to do. I need to change my stack setup for Rin now as well. Ah, such a pain, so much a hassle. So Chasty LaRue is my only other medium on the board now? Okay, in that case I need to actually upgrade Chasty LaRue. Which is my, if you, for people who haven't been watching previously, I've been renaming the hell out of these. This is a mimic that I've got now set up on my um, medium stack. Okay. Uh, armor piercer blank space counter. Oh, so that's all right. Cool. I've, I've got enough physical skills attached to her that's actually going to keep me uh, able to hit. Uh, no escape. Enemies can't run. Counter stance. They have counter magical attack. Okay. How many points do I need there? So four. Four. Okay, I can actually do a trans. So I got a siphon merge all out of that as well. So we one point to unlock that transfiguration. Uh, that one needs to be level 22 before I can do it. Which is getting close to it. And I need a certain item for that one. So, uh, I'll spend them. I've got one point left, so I'm going to probably get another one by the time I get to 22. So I'll see what this is. Into a magic pot? Oh, that's kind of cute. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see, uh, magic pot. Let's see what's in the magic pot skill list. Do we look in here for what we're gonna level up to? Libra, balance, last stand, vigilance. HP, magic pot, uh, prism. Give me an elixir. Causes elixirs received to ver raise various stats. Okay, I'm assuming that's not permanent, is it? <laughs> oh, Kiraga, wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, right. So I can unlock magic jar with this. Okay. So I can turn into a magic jar from this. I'm assuming, so that means this must be the magic jar. Which is going to be a big beast of a thing. Miraculous drill. Okay. Well, that'll be interesting whenever I get to it, but for now, I'm happy enough with Chessie LaRue being as she is. Uh, first strike, armor piercer. 
counter. So it's actually a lot of physical, but I can cast death. But um, not always going to be a big move. Um, I might... There's not even a spare spot. So this is really just kind of going to be a physical counter character. But it going to be depending on all my moves coming from Tama and Rin. So maybe jump into the mirror jewels here and give her another skill. So Siphon allows... Uh, what, I want to know what it does though. Is, is Siphon actually taking health or taking MP? Okay. Mm. Well, time to move on. On to the next location. I think that should be me while reasonably set up for combat now. Yeah, we'll find out now. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to still do a decent amount of punching damage. Oh! They're stacked on top of each other this time. Oh, okay. Oh, I've been poisoned. No! Oh, son of a bitch, poor motherfucker. Right, top lane skills, top lane skills, top lane skills. Uh, very high. Cat Claw will knock him to sleep. Uh, let's see, will this one knock you out? Yes, it will. Fantastic. That's what I wanted. And abilities. Um, poison Nails. I uh, will hit the other one. Nope, doesn't do enough. Oh, God. Well, at least I can cure reasonably well. What are we going to go with? Uh, dark. Po oh, uses dark to absorb AP. Oh, that's what it does. That's kind of useful. Well, let's see what happens whenever I decide to do this. Boom! <laughs> I knew it. I can remember the flan's actually weak against uh, lightning abilities. Thunder. Oh god, I don't have any left. Um. Time to punch you in the face! Lightning bitch! Well, that ought to do it! Right. Level up! Yeah, 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 I see you there. Shaking that ice making booty. I guess we're doing this. Come on, bring it! I don't know what the difference between these ones are, but I might as well scan them to find out. Well, not really, I'll do this first. Down you go. And Libra. Okay, it's a mini flan. So this one's weak against fire? That's great! Ugh. It's like lower my stats, is it? And down you go, Flan Boy! Oh, come on! Ugh. Boom, that one's caught. I like this sticky goo crap. Essentially, it looks like it's um, lowering my stats for some reason. And again, with the level ups, all delicious, all fantastic, all effective. And more ethers. A wobbly little pudding creature with a high capacity for physical pain. Cover its face with a napkin, toss a little caramel on it, and you have yourself an appetizing treat. The actual flavor, however, is shit. 
So yeah, it shows uh, the small to medium, so there's also obviously a large flan, which is like such a big slime. Uh, what abilities are in there? Mini flan. Water sticky goo balance. Stats gelatinous body. Thunder arrow bile. Ooh, that's actually not too bad. Thunder and arrow? Hmm. And then on this large size, whenever you finally get to him, it's dance with me. Dance with me. Make me swell. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. All right, go name my mirage and take a wild guess what I am calling the little pink blob. It's Ditto. Name that Pokemon. Ditto. <laughs> Did everybody actually watch that theory that was actually going around the game theorist uh, video where they're explaining what Ditto actually is? Well, it's kind of obvious what Ditto is. Ditto was uh, the field clones of uh, Mewtwo. But um, in the case of Pokemon Go, that's the reason why they don't exist, because Pokemon Go happened before the first generation of Pokemon. I, go and watch the video. It's actually not... Well, don't watch the video now. Watch my show. But then go and watch the video afterwards. I'm not going to take that one with me. Leave with Sarafi. But yeah, the, um, the Ditto is actually a creature made by science. So therefore, it's not actually a naturally occurring Pokemon, and it hasn't been invented yet, along with Porygon. Arrow seed, so I can actually teach arrow to my team now. That'll be useful. If only I had an empty slot. Um, that's the way I'm meant to be going. Yep. I wonder if I was going to be wandering the wrong way. Hey, no fair sneak. Ugh. Just die already. Abilities: thunder, clown stack, boom. Abilities: thunder. Last stack moves. Ability Thunder Flan Stack Boom. Ability Thunder. Whoa. <laughs> I was gonna say, she probably don't need it, so I could just attack them. Oh, wasn't enough. That's my lesson learned. Oh, God. Oh, I was gonna say, give me one more turn, I could have actually healed myself. All right. I made it to a save point that reheals myself. That's all good and grand. Also means I could go and change my stack if I want to. Or can you teleport back from a save point? No, you need to find a door to do that, don't I you? Won't hold back. Right. Right. Woo! One of my favorite characters. So we need to actually uh, leaper the hell out of this guy because I want to ride around in a Marlboro. I really, really want to ride around in a Marlboro. In fact, I want to go out and smoke a Marlboro right now. But we'll sort that out after the break. Uh, in fact, the status elements to create a prison opportunity. Okie dokie. Ah, crap, I should have checked to see which one he was weak against. Ah. Uh, that's probably not going to be able to poison, but maybe I can knock him to sleep. Nope. Crap. 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 Not good. Um, yeah, so... Hit as many as we can. They're all resisting that. This isn't good. Ah, oh, god damn it! I can't use any abilities, can I? Uh, that's actually it's silence that it cast cast on me, isn't it? Son of a. Okay. Um, we need to think this through. Well, I'm pretty sure I have something that actually can heal. Uh, no. Oh, every chocolate with food. Oh, that's right. Let's see. Uh, I, don't want, I don't want to inflict anything. Uh, well, I've got elixirs, but I don't want that. Don't use my... Poison, blindness, oblivion, sleep, and confusion. Removes slow, removes poison, removes oblivion. I don't have anything that actually can... Remove silence, I suppose. But I'm also poisoned. And if you want, I need a remedy. I need to actually remedy her just to get rid of all the stuff that's wrong. Can 
Okay, um... I was trying to think if I actually had fire of any sort I could use it. But, um, I'm gonna try poison. Because, oh, that's the only thing I can think of that will actually... Oh, don't go to sleep! Oh, man. Oh, it removes confusion. That would be useful. Um, Berserk, some bricks, blindness. Confusion. Oh, I want to. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm. I'm sorry, I don't want to put Berserk on it because it's too. Oh, that'll be perfect. Flashbang. Will that work? Ah, come on! Alright, we need to get rid of these other guys that are floating around there. So, um, let's try and get rid of the Mandragoras. Ew. He reached out for his tentacle. Uh, Foxfire on the Mandragora. Boom, down. And then maybe try Cat Claw again. Yes! Damn it. Are you serious? Do I have anything that actually can afflict... Um, something? Defense down? Yeah, that'll work! Woohoo! It worked, it counted as a stars effect by actually reducing the, uh, the defense. That worked for me. Well, that so yeah, that we've so now bad. got ourselves a Marlboro. Have we already had Smoky Jim? Now Smoky Jim was the Mandragora, the Dark Mandragora that can become a one of these. So now that I've actually immediately jumped up to having the Marlboro, we've gone from Smoky Jim to uh, Smoky Joe. I suppose probably the best way to call this one. Yeah, a couple of flailing tentacles of malignant monstrosity really needs some mouthwash. The fumes it exudes from its mouth cause all sorts of maladies. Just how bad is its bad breath? Hmm. So, uh, yes, the Malibro Tentacle Bad Breath HP Strength Accuracy Critical Critical Guard Entropy. <laughs> it has the heat death of the universe. So, um, Mandragora, Poison Touch, Stroll, Leaf Dagger, Sleep Flea. So, uh, I'm, I'd grab this Marlboro and I can probably go and do some Mandragora, kind of leveling up with it as well. That's cool. Um... Name your mirage. So it's a large, it's a small that jumps straight to large as well. It doesn't have anything in between. Uh, Smoky Joe. So we already went with Smoky Jim on the other one. Smoky Joe. That's good. So at least now I have a third option for uh, leading them around, and this one's status effect heavy. So I will take you with me to level you up, but I don't think I'll probably be using you anytime soon. Um, actually, no, I can use him instead of Charizard. Excellent. So that'll be actually convenient for this area. Uh, we've got three smalls that we're not using currently. Uh, I don't want to get rid of any of these guys, really. Plus that Pidgey's almost ready. That red Pidgey's ready to pop. I need to switch that across to um, being a Chocobo at some point. Let's see. Uh, Pidgey, Pidgey, Pidgey Froggy, Pidgey Froggy, Pidgey Froggy, Pidgey Froggy, Pidgey Froggy. Pidgey froggy. Froggy's going... Bye bye, Froggy. So I'll level up this Marlboro once or twice in fights, and that'll actually solve the problem a little bit. Right. Okay. Today you're gonna wish you never started jiggling. Well, I really do wish I never started jiggling. I mean, I just haven't been working out well long enough. It's huge. It's a very sensitive issue, Snow. <laughs> Snow, you which fat part of this thing is the butt? Fuck you, man. Oh, it's all butt. <laughs> it's all jiggly butt. All right, let's beat the jiggly this butt. This mountain is so majestic and jiggly. You do majestic. Hi, it's so the shiny. <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? It's a golden flower. Ah! Kind of like the golden compass. Mysterious. Uh, weak against absolutely fucking everything. But status effects do nothing for it. 
So I can just hit it with anything at all and it'll do more damage. So magic ahoy, that's what it is. Abilities, magic, damage. Um, so thunder or blizzard, thunder or blizzard, thunder or blizzard. Why don't we go with thunder? Which one's actually cheaper? Thunder. <laughs> Ow! Holy shit! <laughs> oh, nice! Okay, so I've got kind of like a, a bonded attack magic thing, so it'll do some dark damage. This is probably the first time I've actually cast a spell, so let's see what it does. I got this. Not bad! Well, not, not as good as some of the dark spells or the fire spells I was getting with the Charizard, but that's respectable. Let's see if it does any better with Blizzard. Nah, pretty much the same. Let's make this a little bit easier. Um, Sephiroth! Wing Angel strikes again. I'm pretty sure a gelatinous blob can't really stand itself up to a giant comet to the face. Okay, let's see. Um, let's do this. Try that. Uh, I wasn't going to do it. I was wondering if it was actually like I was going to get a massive boost of damage out there, but it wasn't really going to help too much. Uh, we got Thunder and Siphon. Let's go with Abyss again. So it's 1300. Oh, he's almost down. He's so almost down. Um, tempted to see if it actually does, does, make, does the same as everything else. Nah, he's got 100 defense in, on it. Ooh, that's useful. That's how that works. You would actually. Yeah, let's try this. I haven't used it yet. We're gonna try something magic. Fusion! Ha! <coughs> it's not a trifiest dog day afternoon for this giant flan. Big angry doggy. Yeah, so let's see what big ass abilities we got here. Sonic Fangs, Thunderbolt, Blizz, Ice Storm. Uh, I don't know which one. Ice, Sto Ice Storm? <laughs> Blizz? He does, Cerebus does look like a devil dog, so we're gonna go with Blizz. Wow, that is actually weaker. Oh man, that's not good. That is actually weaker than my magic attack on an individual stack. Oh man, there's literally no reason to ever use this. And it's eaten all my AP. Oh man. Oh god, this is awful to look like. Oh go, just go away. Go away. You have to level them up like an insane amount to actually do that. Make it worthwhile. Oh god, well, that's even worse thing. I can't even do a move now. Uh, Subdue just might let you. Yes. That was almost offensive to actually look at. It's completely worthless as a mad summon. Yeah. 
Lucifer dog or not, you just were not leveled enough for the contact sport that it is. What the hell? <laughs> just shrank at the very end. Sorry, just had some gas. Oh, Armor Gem. So that, of course, means that we've probably unlocked another champion, which is probably going to be Snow. I don't want that. I really don't want that. <laughs> I want Snow as a champion. Give me Tifa, give me Selfie, give me Quistus, give me all the other people we've well, met so we far. Just it, not Snow. Yeah, I don't feel like we actually really beat it. I know. We beat the gas out of it's it. It's like we're right back to square one, except nothing about that thing was square. You put water in a cup, it becomes a cup. You put a flan inside a square, it, it becomes a square. Snow, what exactly do you have against it again? If I don't keep it in line, it just grows and grows. Once it's like it a large pustule way, on the planet. Attack my village. It's some serious damage. I found that a nice periodic butt kicking is the best way to keep the big jiggle in check. Sounds like a big, or big, eat big, it. Big it's a flan. Well, thanks to you. I was able to smack it around a lot more than usual today. It won't be attacking towns for a while. Anyway, it looks like the swamp up ahead should be nice and dry now. I think you're good to walk. Okay. Maybe I'll see you all again sometime. Yo, oh, great. I'm thank you know, God he's gone so quickly. Ice magic. He was surprisingly chill. Yeah, I'll say. But so, you ready to kiss this place goodbye? I hope that the rest is the easy I don't want to kiss anything in this swamp. Get it away from me. Yep, Snow's champion medal. Woo! So, saving the progress. This is the end of chapter 12. Obviously, we're going to be jumping into chapter 13 right after this. It feels like one of those natural breaks that it always does whenever they're doing these episodes. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been chapter 12 of World of Final Fantasy. I will be back again soon with another episode really, really quickly because we've got a very short time to be able to put all these episodes together and get them up to you guys before Final Fantasy 15 comes out. And we start playing that and I lose the rest of my life. So, of course, remember the subscribe button is up here on the YouTube video as always, sitting on the top thing. If you want to come and watch these live, they're on twitch.tv forward slash past Eats your skin, but of course, you can always get some on post play. Otherwise, over the side here, you can always grab all of the episodes of the stuff that's actually currently coming up on the station. I highly recommend the hype stuff for Final Fantasy 15 because we are really, really hyped about getting to play this game as soon as possible. So, I will see you all, you dudes, in the next video. Bye bye.